Data security is part of the easy security solution. Um, it allows you to filter data for individual pages, and you can also specify uh, variables that we use in filtering uh, in that way, allowing uh, user-specific uh, data to be used for in filtering. We normally filter what's shown on pages, and that of course applies to uh, OData, uh, web clients, or anything else that would actually show the page. Uh, it is also possible with a manual customization to add it at other places uh, in the system. You can find more information about this on our website, uh, what actually is required uh, to be adding these uh, features in there. I have a fully uh, installed uh, NavEasy security system in here and I want to uh, switch to a different company and I want to set up um, the initial steps uh, for the field level and data security to be used inside this database. All it requires of course is to select where the data is coming from and to set up the copy and I'll use the copy data between companies. So as I did this one in my demo database I actually have data security codes but normally there's no default uh, data security code so it will be empty in here. If I look at uh, the data inside NAV right now. I'll go take a look at uh, customers and I can see I have customers for different location and uh, many other things in here. We can filter on as many columns as, part, as you want in here. One thing just to be aware of that if you filter for a lot of things, especially like things like balance being less than a certain value, it can be very uh, time consuming for the SQL Server, but nothing different than if you actually were filtering for this manually in here. So I want to go ahead and filter so all my users normally only will see the blue and the blank location in here. To do that, I'll need to create a new data security code. And I want to do this by table. So I want to select my source table 18 and I will call this one uh, location in here. We can have different filters for each individual page in the system. Initially, I want to do the same filter for every page in here, so I will leave it uh, with zero, basically applying this filter for every page that is uh, about the customer in here. I can select uh, the individual fields I want to filter. And I have my location code. Uh, I want to as I mentioned, uh, do a filter for the blank or the blue location. We can have filters that are hidden. Users can't see them and they can't get around them. Um, we also have editable filters. Um, but for this one, I want to leave it so the user have no chance of getting around it. And I'll put in the blank and the blue for the filter value. We can also do filters that are more kind of helpful. And the blocked field, for example, is an option field. I want to only show the customers by default that is actually not blocked in here. But I will allow the user to actually remove uh, the filter and uh, go ahead and change that one in here. I could go ahead and put in the value blank in here and it will work fine in all languages. If I actually pick the value ship for blocked in here, it would only work uh, for English in here. Other languages would be different. One of the things that can be used in here is actually the integer value. So as I put in zero, it will mean the first option in the option string, and in that way uh, be able to filter on that one in here. So as I went ahead and created this uh, new data security code, I want to go apply it to my users. And I want to apply it to everybody. And I don't want field level security, uh, but I want uh, data security out here. So I now selected that uh, location data security code for all users. As I go back to list of customers, I now see only the blank and blue location customers. If I look at all filters, I will see my blocked has the blank value of the first one up here being the non-blocked. And I can get rid of that one and any other filter, but it still don't allow me to get around the one showing me only the blank and blue one in here. This one can be applied to anything in here. 
it can be applied to a flow filter, so it will actually also affect calculations, for example, uh, on uh, the customer card and things like that one in here. Or in the case of uh, the chart of account, you can actually make a flow filter that will apply to the values in here, but I'll come back to that one. The other thing, often these things depend on users, and when you have many different options, you can end up with a lot of data security codes in here. We can make thing we call a user filter. Basically is um, a record with the user ID and a whole list of dimensions in NAV in here. So I'll go ahead and create a record and as I did before, I wanna leave my blank user ID in here. With the blank one, I can create a default uh, for every pe person in the company in here. So if you don't have a record, same way as normal, it will apply uh, this one up here. I can go in and for myself, being the user down here, I will actually go in and say, I'm actually working in different ones. So I'll go in here and say, the red and yellow is the one I want to apply to in here. This one, even if it's location and a filter on location, all this one is is just a variable. So I could very well just have set R asterisk, for example, or something like that one in here to have every location starting with R in here. I haven't done anything yet on my data security code. So of course it still filters for the blue one, even I'm logged in as a user down here. So I wanna go change my data security code for my location. And I wanna go uh, on this page and instead of my location code being the hard-coded one out here, I will use what we call substituting into the filter value. That means instead of this value here for the blue, I'm going to look up something we call dynamic filters. We have things related to the current date and time, uh, Apple out posting range, responsibility centers, uh, that is all fields on the user setup. We also have all these things about user filters. That is that record where I went in and for my user ID said I was using the red and yellow and I can see that value down here. We also have things that relate to the work dates, being able to um, filter maybe on something that people only see the production orders for the current months, for example, um, but they could get rid of that filter if you made it editable in here. I wanna select the location code in here and as you can see, it comes in with a percentage sign, basically making it a variable in here that um, I can go ahead and um, apply inside my filter. So with this change, as I now look at my customer list, it's going to use my user filter and apply that as part of my filter. So I can see and now see the blank, red and yellow in here. One of the reasons to include the blank one is actually when you create a new record, if you don't have access um, to the blank one, it will warn you that you have to remember to put the location in. There's no problem about it. You will still be able to do it. Um, but just um, you see kind of a warning as a user in here. The other thing, if I go look at a, a single login in here now, I can see when I get in here, that um, I will have a salesperson code PS in here. You can have different filter depending on the page in here. So I can see this one, 30,000. Um, I have a salesperson code of PS in here. If I only allowed uh, people to actually see um, their own salespeople on the customer card, I can go apply an additional filter in here. So first of all, I wanna go back and map my users against salespeople in here. So I will again edit this list and go out and say, uh, this person is actually uh, PS in here. I can of course have multiple codes in here. So you can have a manager, have multiple salespeople and be able to see many of them in here. As I have now added that, I wanna go change my data security code. And I have the one for location and on the list, it's actually fine and everywhere else in here, but I want to go and say on the customer card, I only want people to open up that in 
uh, the case where they actually have the right salesperson code also. I can go in here and instead of writing all the same things again, I will actually go down here and say for my location for zero, I'll go ahead and copy all that information in here. So now I got the blocked and I got the other one about location in here. I can then add my salesperson code in here. And I want to do a hidden filter. I don't want the user to get around it. And I actually don't want to allow them to see the blank one either in here. So I will go down and find my user filter for sales purchaser code and apply that one in here. And probably if anyway, if uh, I actually don't uh, want people to change it back again, even if uh, they are actually the salesperson, I will actually block uh, or hide them if the person is actually blocked in here. So they won't even be able to open up the black one, blocked one. So as I now go back, I will see I had my salesperson, uh, sir, or John Haddock insurance in here. And it was PS, it all works fine, I can open up that one. If I go open up another one, this one, it's also PS, but I try open up one that is for a different salesperson. I'll get an error that is not available. And it will show me the first record that falls within my filter, now showing the 40,000, and not the one that I actually was trying to open in here. So in that way, you can control each page individually. And since I'm only allowing to actually see the one where I'm the salesperson, I can still see the list. I can create orders for any customer. I just won't be able to change anything because only the one I'm the salesperson on is what I'm allowed in here. So that one is how you would limit uh, the data in here uh, for uh, this list in here. We can actually also apply things uh, based on the chart of account in here. There's um, things in here like you can limit the totals, uh, for example, by adding uh, a department filter. And if I go take a look currently in here for the account cleaning, there's no um, filters in here. I would see that I have a total out here of 26,000 in here, posting on multiple uh, global dimensions in here. If I only wanted people to see the department uh, they were working in, I could go do that simply by mapping. Uh, first, I will map my user in here. So I'll go ahead and edit this list and say that my demo user down here for department code is actually only supposed to see sales in here. Then I want to create a field level C or data security code that limit the access uh, in here. So I'll go in and say for table number 15, the GL account, um, I want uh, to have a department in here. Every page I show should actually have the same. So I'll go and modify that one. And if I look at it here, it's now called global dimension. And if I look at global dimension code, I will only be allowed to see those records. But if I look at global dimension filter, I'll be able to use this one in here. And I really don't want people to get around this. So I have a hidden filter and I will go in and select uh, my user filter down here um, for my dimension one in here. So in this case, I'm now mapping this one. You could of course have a hard coded filter also. That wouldn't be a problem in here. The other thing I really want people only to see um, the accounts that are for the current year. So I don't want them to see any balance accounts. So I can actually go in and filter on this one. And again, that's one of those uh, fields that are, is an option field. So I really want to go in here and remember to filter on the integer value. So as I now come back, I, all, uh, I only need to apply this and in this case, I'm actually going to apply it only to myself. So I will be the only one currently using this data security code because I don't do one for the blank user in here. But as I now go back um, to my chart of account, I guess I 
did this uh, wrong in here because uh, I actually filtered on the account type. I should have filtered on the income balance out here. So let me go uh, change that one in here. So instead of account type, of course, I want to uh, go um, take the one that is income balance. And I only want to let people see the one that are uh, income accounts in here. And I want to get rid of this one. So now it shows what I want, the income accounts. If I go down and find my cleaning account down here, I will see that um, my value now is actually uh, only 13,000 in here. If I drill down and I would be showing the column uh, with the department code, I only see the one for sales in here. Um, if I was navigating here, I would need to also uh, apply a data security code for the general ledger entries. But because it actually follows from the chart of account, it will keep on working this way in here. So this one is a great way also to filter out certain accounts that people can maybe only see. And even if they can see all the values, it will actually only allow them to see um, the entries fall within their range in here. So the data security is uh, very generic in this way. Um, you can apply any filter you want in here, and you can also make all these user-specific filters and apply them in here also. And on the website, you'll be able to find what is required to make this work in reports, uh, JET reports, account schedules, and also uh, if you even want to validate the value people are typing with a few lines of code, you can easily implement that.